Three years before Donald J. Trump was elected president, one congressman spoke out boldly and often as a whistleblower on Obama administration corruption. Thanks for having me. Um, so tell me, Congressman, um, why do you want to seek impeachment of this president? Well, as I said in my statement, we want all tools available to use, including that the impeachment. But I think the, the limelight focused on that. But we also talked about lawsuits, stopping the funding. And the reason we're doing this is because we have a president who stepped over the line, has taken his authority. Most executive orders are really meant for executive branch. He's using it really for legislative and skipping the Congress. That's a violation of the Constitution. We believe we have grounds, including uh, some very prominent people that, uh, like Ed Meese, thinks we have good standing. Watch the Hill at noontime, new pressure on House Republicans to bring a vote on legislation that would allow a special committee to investigate the deadly consulate attack in Benghazi, Libya. Uh, my next guest releasing what some believe to be the largest petition ever presented to Congress, literally. A 60-foot-long scroll of veteran signatures who want this investigation to happen. Republican Congressman Steve Stockman out of Texas is a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. And, sir, welcome to our program, and good morning to you. Uh, let's morning, get to Bill. the event in a moment. But why do you think a special investigation is necessary? Well, it's been a year since uh, Benghazi happened. Uh, on my own committee, which is investigating Benghazi, we have had now two hearings canceled, and we believe it's because of witnessing tampering or intimidation. The, the uh, State Department has refused to release a lot of the witnesses from their commitments that they signed an oath of secrecy or whatever. We're asking the State Department to allow the witnesses to come forward, stop interfering with investigation. Since they refuse to do that, we're asking for a special committee that has subpoena power to open up this, uh, what's really is a sad situation, and I believe is involved with many people, and, and I think this could be explosive if it ever got to the people. Hi, this is Steve Stockman reporting from Congress. They've been trying to pass a bill, amnesty, in the Senate. They did pass it, and I uh, blue slipped it because they put taxes in it. And so far, Harry Reid has never sent over uh, the amnesty bill to the House, and I'm proud to say that uh, we've tried this once in the 80s and it didn't work, and uh, we need to secure our borders first. Texas Congressman Steve Stockman joins us now. He filed his resolution to arrest Lois Lerner just yesterday. Congressman, good to see you. So you want the sergeant of arms of the U.S. Congress to go knock on her door, pick her up, and throw her in, I guess, a D.C. jail? Yeah, this is just the same as if you have a contempt citation. A judge can order you arrested. Uh, Congress looks inept when we don't carry through. We, we issued a contempt order against her, and we need to act upon it. What about the fact that there is a process underway? I realize that most Republicans are not happy with Eric Holder and the DOJ looking into this, uh, but there is a process underway, and if they determine at some point illegal behavior has taken place, criminal behavior, uh, you know, we'll have to see what they do, but why get, a, why get ahead of the, you know, that, that case? Well, Megan, quite frankly, Eric Holder is under contempt of Congress, too. I mean, we have the cat uh, watching the birdhouse. It's not going to be a case in which you're going to have Eric Holder running out there. In fact, your clips just earlier showed that they're not even really investigating her. This is a farce. Steve Stockman, a political prisoner in his own country. Text FIGHT to 444-999 to help. DefendAPatriot.com